Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a very cool 1957 Chevrolet 3100 half-ton pickup to show you. Um, if you haven't noticed already, you'll see that it is the deluxe cab, which is the big back window. Uh, that, of course, uh, that's highly desirable. Now the paint, this is the original color for the truck. It's called Larkspur Blue, kind of a robin's egg blue, if I could describe it to you a little bit. Nice paint. Been on the truck about 20 years. Uh, this is a two-owner truck. Second owner purchased the truck in 2013. Uh, it had been, to a certain degree, restored, if not sympathetically restored, uh, up until that time from the original owners. Um, and then when the second owner purchased it in 2013, he did a complete mechanical and structural uh, restoration on it. So. It took him four years, from 2015 to 2019, uh, to complete it. And I'm going to show you and talk about some of the attributes of this truck. It's very nice, very impressive. Almost can't, really can't get any better. It's just as cool as it can be. But uh, uh, you got your, uh, these are the 57 style emblems here. You know, calling out the 3100. That is the half ton. That's a step side. Uh, wheels and tires. Now, uh, these are Coker 15 inch. Uh, steely wheels with the chrome trim ring and chrome derby cap with your Chevy bow tie. Um, tires are 235 60s in the front, BF Goodrich radial TAs, 255 60s out back. Uh, yeah, work nicely for the truck. And uh, normally I talk about what the braking system is here, and of course you can't see it because the, the wheels are solid, but this truck does have power, four wheel disc brakes. We'll talk about that a little bit more as well. Uh, again, all the glass, very nice on the truck. And you'll see these uh, little cones here, these chrome pieces on the wipers. Now, the wipers do work, I just and I've got the, uh, the arms and, and the blades and whatnot to go with, but kind of like this cleaned up look here. Probably a, like a rain gear system here, electric wipers that have the intermittent feature, very nice. All your weather stripping and, and whatnot is, is excellent on the car or the truck. <laughs> your shut lines and gaps are nice, take you the interior. Interior finished off in this sort of dove gray. Uh, it's kind of a high end vinyl and it's pebbled, but also enhanced by this houndstooth fabric here. So you've got that on the door panels as well as the, the uh, vinyl on the door panels, but the seating as well. This is a Wise Guys brand seat. Uh, they build seats for hot rods. There's actually uh, a center armrest there that folds out. Very nice. And this seat, you'll notice, it's thinner than the factory seat. So what that does is allows more room uh, for the driver and the passenger. So you've got plenty of room in this truck to drive it and enjoy it. Headliner matching. Got your nice visors there. Chrome. Glove box door. Little dome light work in there. Uh, retractable seat belts uh, that are also shoulder belts. So that's very nice as well. Uh, your footwell there is uh, all nice and carpeted. You got your Chevy bow tie kick plate. This is finished off nicely here. This is an excellent truck. And of course, I know I mentioned these things, but you know, it drives nice because that's what I like. I like stuff you can actually use. And this truck is, well, what the heck, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now. This truck has an LS3 in it. It's 430 horse. It's a crate LS3. And it's got a mated transmission to it. They sold it as a package, uh, Chevrolet Performance. So you've got the LS3, 430 horse V8. And then you've got the uh, 4L65E automatic with overdrive. Uh, just an excellent combination. The differential uh, is a Curry uh, Ford style 9 inch differential, 350 uh, to 1 gear ratio, and you do have True Track, which is you know, essentially pause attraction. So, excellent, excellent engine and drivetrain. The entire 
system has 1,078 miles on it. So it's all been sorted out. Uh, it, it starts, runs, drives beautifully. Should mention this too. It's got a TCI full frame under it. It's all nice and fully boxed. The uh, suspension also TCI. So you've got uh, you know your uh, independent front suspension. Uh, we talked about the brakes already. It's got 11-inch rotors on the front uh, and the back as well. Uh, Will Woods in the back, drilled and slotted. So you got tubular A arms, power steering, air conditioning. I'm going to show you all that, but I, I wanted to tell you about that. It's very cool. So let's take a look at this bed here. Now uh, the bed wood. Uh, that you see here is oak, very nice, beautifully done. You can probably even see some depth there. Stainless strips and fasteners, all your fasteners on the side and whatnot are stainless as well. back here you know kind of stayed with the old uh, chain and uh, lanyard uh, style tailgate with uh, you know the original style uh, tail lamps very nice all the chrome is nice now take a look at this I want to show you this here's a hitch uh, and this hitch uh, you know if you had a little trailer you wanted to pull or maybe you guys like to you know take your motorcycles with a little trailer something like that you have that option but the beauty of it is you can remove this if you want to you know, you decide, eh, I don't want the hitch on there, you can remove it. Nice stainless up here. Uh, your fuel tank has been moved from behind the seat to under the bed. So this is your fuel filler here, and there's a tool in the glove box that locks that down, and that's how you get to your fuel. Should take a moment to tell you a little bit about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where, of course, I've got pictures of the truck, uh, but also pictures of the undercarriage. You want to see that as well. Nice and clean, nice and dry under there. Very well done, very well built. Can't say enough about it. It's a beautiful truck. It's everything you really want in a truck. It's got the great stance. You've got a two-inch drop spindle in the front. Uh, you've got a single parabolic... Uh, spring in the back. You've got airbags, I should mention that, uh, that are controlled from the cab. So if you did decide you wanted to, wanted to haul some rocks or something back here, all you got to do is hit those airbags. Now you're not going to do that, but you know, if you're pulling a trailer or something like that and you wanted to lift that a little bit, you have that ability. Uh, just a nice feature. Here's that big back window which is highly desirable, makes it very easy to see out of. You turn over your left shoulder, uh, you know, to, to you know, make a turn. You're not looking into a blank wall there, you're looking out a window. So that's a nice feature here. Should point this out. Now, originally your fuel tank would have been behind the seat, so this was your fuel filler here, and he just chose to leave this here. This is how you get into it. You know, sometimes they fill this in so you don't have that, but kind of gives it part of the total effect from how the truck was originally. Let me take you in the interior on this side. Point out, nice, very flexible weather stripping. All your jams are nice. All your chrome on your handles and whatnot are nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these are Dakota HDX digital gauges. Now, um, as long as you can see that, see that work there. I think you can probably see it on the camera. But anyway, uh, and they're in an analog style, but they are digital. Turn that off. You get the banjo style steering wheel with your leather grip to match the interior of the truck. Uh, bow tie horn button here. Uh, this is uh, where your airbags, if you want to adjust your airbags on the back, that's what this is here. Air conditioning vents on each either end and in the center. Uh, you see that over there, uh, that's for like a, an iPod or if you wanted to plug something in to listen to some tunes. 
check this out. This is one of those retro stereos. I didn't even know they, I have a 56 Chevy truck myself, and I didn't know they made this, so I might want to get this for mine. But your controls for your radio here, and this fits the original radio spot, which is nice. Vintage air and heat system. <coughs> air conditioning blows cold. Just, oh man, this is a great truck. Power steering, if I didn't mention that earlier. <clears throat> now up front here, uh, 1957, uh, they had a couple of, of little trim changes from 55 and 56. Now, uh, 57, you started, you got these spears on the hood and that went through 59. And then the grill, you kind of had this open mouth grill uh, where the 55 and 6s had the bars that just went vertical like this. In 57, they made this piece. Kind of cool looking and very unique. It's the only year they did that. Uh, your, all your chrome, your bumpers and whatnot, everything, t uh, headlamps, uh, headlight doors, excellent. So, i got to show you this engine here. So this is a 4.2 or 4.6.2 liter LS3, 430 horse. This is the probably the most desirable engine uh, in today's world that we want in our hot rods. Are definitely, definitely one of them. You got the cold air intake here. Everything is done so well and so clean. Uh, now this is another thing I should point out. Your uh, brake system, your your pedal, uh, your uh, master cylinder uh, booster and whatnot is under the truck, but it has this remote uh, reservoir. So you know you don't have to get under the truck and try to fill it or open up a thing under your on your floor pan to do that. It's right here if you want to add uh, brake fluid. Uh, this is your air conditioning compressor. Volga can get in here. Just this whole system here, this is what they call the front runner system. Uh, and so what that gives you is the uh, polished pulleys and the serpentine belt. And what this does is it just brings everything in nice and tight. You don't have an alternator sticking over here and an air conditioning over here and power steering somewhere else. It's all nice and t clean and tight in here. air conditioning lines running and whatnot. They did a very nice job on this. Now, uh, this radiator, uh, brand new, of course, designed to uh, to cool the, the LS. You got dual 10 inch uh, fans here and they are thermostatically controlled. So you don't have to worry about flipping on a switch or anything. This is your overflow here. This nice polished aluminum overflow. I mean, this is it. This is this is as good as it gets right here. Uh, transmission, again, you know, made it to the uh, LS3 is the uh, GM uh, 4L65E. So what that is, uh, that's a, a three-speed plus an overdrive transmission. A little heavier duty than a 700R4. Uh, it's going to have to be to handle that LS unless that 700 R4 is built, but excellent transmission. Now, the uh, differential, I mentioned that earlier, it is a Curry unit uh, based on the Ford 9 inch 350 gears, perfect. Uh, you got uh, true track, positive traction, and again, I mentioned it before, but you've got uh, disc brakes out the back as well. So, <clears throat> what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the truck. Um, take it for a little spin around the parking lot, start it, you'll hear it run, kind of see how it moves under its own power. One other thing with the website, uh, take a look and you can see he's got a nice little book that he had made of the restoration. So uh, if you're interested in the truck, uh, I'd encourage you to take a look at that. So let's, uh, let's take that for a spin.
didn't mean to scare you with that little display of uh, performance there. I can't really do anything in, in, within here, but I wanted to kind of show you that, you know, the LS3, boy, you just can't beat it. Good performance, excellent fuel economy, always starts, always runs great. I mean, I just can't say, anybody will tell you, you know, this is basically a, a C6 Corvette engine is what they are. Uh, and this is a crate, so you got 1,078 miles, you know, just shakedown miles. Everything is dialed in. You can drive this thing across the country, be comfortable with the air conditioning. Uh, you can take it to car shows. You know, people are going to love it there. Cruise in, anything you want. It's, it's a fun truck to drive. Man, I love it. Uh, tilt steering column, uh, I didn't mention that, and it is an I did it uh, column. It's chrome. Uh, so everything, you know, your turn signals, everything works. Uh, there's just uh, really nothing negative about the truck at all. But if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1957 Chevy big back window half ton truck, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean. This is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763. And thank you for watching today.